Hey guys, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you six different DIYs that you can do for Christmas presents and these are actually gifts that I did give out myself and I think that they're all awesome. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Now for this DIY, you're just going to need some letter stickers, a photo frame, and a wrapping bag. I just used a holiday one to go with the theme, and some scissors and whiteboard markers. Now you're just going to measure out the glass and cut it out to its shape. I just put out the letters that I wanted to make a to-do list. You could make it a list for meals of the week too if you wanted, and all I did here was put it back in the frame. Now for this DIY, all we need is some mason jars, and as you can tell, I'm not using vegan hot chocolate or vegan marshmallows because my family members themselves aren't vegan. However, if I were to make this for myself, I would just use vegan marshmallows and vegan hot chocolate, and the peppermints, I believe, are vegan. All in all, I'm doing is separating into four mason jars because I'm making four snowmen. All the ingredients, and this way you'll have one for each layer and as you can tell when you see it how a snowman has three layers the mason jars are going to have three different items in them one with hot chocolate one with marshmallows and one with the peppermints now i'm just taking these buttons and i'm just going to be gluing on the eyes as well as on the middle section i'm going to be gluing the three buttons to make his torso and i also took a piece of construction paper and glued on a piece of nose and I'm just taking a piece of felt and I cut it lengthwise and you can actually stretch the felt longer and it will go skinnier. And I just cut the ends off to make a scarf. I just glued it around the middle for his torso. All I'm doing here is just gluing them in order of how I'd like them. I just went hot chocolate, marshmallow, and then the peppermints on top. And that just went his bottom, his torso, and his face. And for the top, I'm just taking some more of the felt and I'm just making a circle the size of the lid. I just screwed off the lid and I drew a circle on top to make his hat. And right here, I'm just taking a paper towel roll and I'm cutting it down the middle so I can easily get it measured. I'm cutting it in half and then I'm cutting the halves into quarters so that way each snowman will have a top hat. And then I'm just going to, with that, tape it back in a circle with my packing tape, as you can see here. <laughs> And I'm also going to be just measuring out with the felt so I can put that around the piece of paper towel. And I'm just going to cut that and make it the length I want. Put the felt on and then I'm just going to make it for the top as well. I'm going to take the paper towel roll, measure a circle on the felt, and then cut a top for his top hat. And that is how you make the snowman. This DIY was honestly my easiest one. All I needed was craft tape. I used craft duct tape, a little composition book or a big one depending on which one you want to put in to give to that person. Um, you also just need some stickers. I just used a different type of sticker because I wanted it to be more sparkly to go with the tape. And I just covered the whole book in tape with the Craftsman duct tape. And I'm using a different type of Craftsman duct tape to use on the front of it so you can put the label on. And I'm just writing on the label, Mom's book. It's going to be for just someone that wants to write their presents in or whatever. And they can put it in with their wrapping paper and they can have it all year long. Now this DIY is honestly quite easy. It's not, it doesn't take much for crafting I guess. All I took was just a piece of white construction paper and I just reused the piece that came with my buttons. Tape, labeling, I just took the label that came with the slippers 
and I just cut it out to size and I wrote on the label for your mistletoes. I thought it was kind of punny because it's all for your feet. And this is just for my aunt who loves bright colors. All I'm doing is just taking these bright colored slippers that I think she'd like, writing that label out, and in the middle of the slippers I'm putting this pedicure kit that I found, and in each of the slippers I'm putting a nail polish. For these, they can be that much harder than just you being creative and drawing. As you can see, I'm not that good at drawing, but as long as you just put your own effort in, it should be fine. You just take the Sharpies, you draw on the mug, and all you have to do is just bake them at 350 for about 30 minutes after you draw on them. And before you take them out, let them cool in the oven, that way they won't like crack or anything. And you can do this with many different things. You can see I used a dish for my cat. I also used a teapot for my aunt, which you'll see later. And you can just write whatever you want on it. I just looked up different things for different family members that I wanted to give them to. And I wrote individual things on each of the mugs and I hope they all love them. Now for the final DIY, all you're going to need is some green construction paper, some tea bags, a paper towel roll, and scissors. And if you have a tea that is already a green one, like a peppermint tea for the holidays, you can skip this part. However, my aunt loves chai tea, so I'm just taking out the construction paper, cutting it to size, and I'm taping it to each of the tea bags individually. And now I'm going to the paper towel roll, and I'm just going to be taping them right from the bottom. I'm using packing tape that way it will stick and the stick will be stronger if that makes sense. Anyway that way I can also go the whole way around with it so it will stick better and you just go up the paper towel roll and you make a tree and what I did with the last <coughs> sorry tea bags I took them together and I made a star for the top of the tree and I thought it looked kind of bland so I added some red construction paper and red leftover yarn and I made it more of a Christmassy tree and I also paired it with this pot that I was talking about that you can do and I thought it would be so cute to go with the tea and it was quite inexpensive as well. So that was it for today's vlogmas and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's. I love you guys.